What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another amazing, informative, and educational even Tennessee football video from your boy BBD here at BBD TV. In a year of virtually no great news with the COVID and all, Tennessee has got some great news. By now you've all heard it, but by now you haven't heard my thoughts on it. That's right, Cade Mays granted eligibility after having to appeal for it. We all know the story, right, about Cade Mays. He's a legacy recruit out of Knox Catholic, commits to Tennessee, comes up to Greenville High School, shows his ass in a playoff game, flips the fans off, you know, uh, total douchebag. So I was like, you know what, screw that guy. We can find somebody better. So I was okay with him going to Georgia, committing, flipping, committing to Georgia. I was okay with it. Not really. It kind of pissed me off. So there he is, down in Georgia, playing offensive line for two years. You know, great, great lineman. But shitty at road, blo road blocking. Shitty at pass blocking, according to all the Georgia fans and uh, probably some of the coaches. I don't know. I didn't get to talk to them. And according to this, the eye test. But coaches are supposed to make plays, players better, right? So now he's at Tennessee with his brother Cooper, who probably won't see any playing time this year. You never know. Now he's at Tennessee. He's got offensive line coach Will Friend hooking him up with some advice, some technique, some greatness. So hopefully this year he's a better pass blocker than before. We know he can. We, look, we know he's a road grader. We know he can flatten defensive linemen. We know he can kick ass. We know he can make a path for Gray. We need him to be able to defend our boy JG a little better. And I think he will. You know, He's going to have some great offensive line help this year. So that's going to make a big difference in everything. Right? It's got to. Right? You put a bunch of really good offensive linemen together, you get a great offensive line. That's the theory, anyway. At least I've always been told. So yeah, anyway, K uh, Cade Mays back in the saddle again at Tennessee. Can't wait to see this. Can't wait to see this season get started in eight days, kids. Eight days. We're finally playing football. Look at what it's been like all this off season. We're not going to play football. Eh, we might play football. There's no way in hell we're playing football. Well, there's still a chance we could play football. There's no way, no way, no how, blah, blah, blah. The season gets closer, gets closer. They give us a little bit of hope. And lo and behold, after all is said and done, college football is already underway. The Big Ten and the Pac-12 bitched out first. But the Big Ten has at least gotten wise and decided to come back. That's a whole different video right there, the flip-flopping Big Ten. But welcome back, Big Ten. See you in late October. In the meantime, Tennessee and their great offensive line is going to be chugging along, kicking ass, and taking names. Starting with you, Carolina. I'll get to you, I'll get to you bitches next week. Just, just hang in there. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. The old BBD's coming back, damn it. What's a good year for Tennessee this year? 7-3 and three in this season of conference-only football would be a great year in my opinion. And I think we're going to go 7-3. and three. We're, going to catch, we're going to catch one of these guys not looking. We're going to catch one of these games we're not supposed to win and smack somebody in the mouth and get a W. We might get two, you never know. We could get two of those games and then drop one nobody thinks we should lose. That would be Tennessee football. You never know. So seven and one, seven and three is my prediction. Eight and two would be amazing. Nine and one would be miraculous. And ten and zero, of course, would be one of those. Somebody wake me up, okay? Or no, better yet, everybody let me sleep. This is a great dream. Ten and zero is coming, just not this year. Pruitt's going to need another year or two for that. At any rate, welcome back, Cade Mays, to the starting lineup of Tennessee football. Now maybe, maybe Georgia will send Kevin his half his damn finger back. They've been holding it down there for evidence or something. 
You know, give the man his frickin' half a finger back. Ridiculous Georgia people. Y'all have a great day. Go Vols, screw y'alls, and here's one for you, Georgia.